Hi friends, welcome to my channel Go Cool and Be Cool. PMP from PMI, Project Management Professional Certification Course from Project Management Institute. The most expected, the most wanted, the most demand, the most popular, you know, the most uh, looking in this corporate world is PMP. So we are going to see how this certification course is being, you know, uh, structured. So in this uh, entire world, so we are going to see about how we can be able to get, you know, succeed in first time, first attempt in the PMI. So we are going to have these beautiful questions and answer with explanations, with beautiful explanations to you. So enjoy this course. So I made it very simple. So let's go to the video. Yeah, welcome back. So PMP, so from PMI, so we are going to see the entire process of this project management professionals. So questions and answers with explanation. So before that, before get into the uh, questions and answers, I want to make you a small brief about how this is structured. So okay, so you will understand about uh, uh, the each and every uh, course uh, structure and how the questions will be framed, how you can able to answer. So those kind of things we will discuss together. See PMP, what is PMP and why it is important? The PMP also known as Project Management Professional Certification, it is unbiased proof of a person's project management talent and expertise. It is accepted globally and gives better career opportunities, credibility and increase the incomes of our those who have acquired it. See example project means like you know developing your new product or maybe new service or campaign so many things we can able to see as a project. So project is maybe project generally you know converting uh, the requirements maybe uh, customer requirements into results that's all simple in a structured manner. So we have very, very beautiful structures available so you are as a project in the sense you are converting your requirements into the results so this is how the things will happen in a structured manner like how the planning is happening so those kind of things are coming in the uh, pmp examination as well as the certification courses so the requirements how the things get converted into the results see this exam so we have nearly 180 questions available so in the pmi examination so 230 minutes given so we have some 10 minutes rest so it is up to you like whether you can take it or not take it what is the type we are going to have for example like multi choice question uh, we have many things available so in in 188 so we have many uh, multi choice questions multiple response matching drag and drop hot spots questions also there then situational and then fill in the blank so those kind of type of questions as you can go you, you are going to see that so thing is that it is a close to book examinations only so there is no any options to you know refer during examination also but the thing is that you have multi choice question so four answers are there okay so you can able to eliminate two uh, which is not at all relevant to you so then we have a two you know uh, some questions available like whether it is right or wrong so those kind of things as we get uh, you know uh, conclusions during the examinations see this uh, pmp is like you know we have uh, five phases and then questions what what is that we can expect that is initiating planning executing monitoring controlling and then closing so we have 13 percentage from initiating 24 from planning 31 percentage from executing monitoring and then controlling so we have 25 percent and then closing seven percent whereas if you take like you know uh, people uh, 42 percentage they can able to cover what we can say as a stakeholders uh, process is 50 percent and then business environment is eight percent so this is how the split is happening so sometimes it will get a little bit changes also so but the thing is that when you start preparing the examination so it you can feel like you know this much of percentages can be expected in the examinations questions and answer so we have 16 varieties of topics available so you have to take care of these topics in a holistic manner so you have to understand so these topics for example like process management scope management integration management schedule management cost management quality management resource management and communication management so these are all the eight categories as we have the next one is project life cycle risk management procurement management stakeholders management agile management hybrid management human resource management and then time management so these 16 varieties of topics we are going to see the entire questions and answers with some beautiful explanations to you okay so passing score uh, see we have many things in the google you know people are always used to say 65 percent last time attempt 75 percent then 80 percent of the lesson my dear buddies please understand 
See, this PMP examination is a closed book examination. We don't get any books for reference purpose also. So please aim for at least more than 95 percent, 90 percent. At least you can um, uh, you can get in touch with this 85 percent. Uh, so in that case, it will be really useful to you. See, please don't believe a general social media guidelines. People are saying that 65 percent passing is is easier. So every person is passing is easier. So my request to all of you is please plan more than 85 percent. So if you want to have more than 85 percent, what are you supposed to do that? Please keep ready with your uh, pin box 6 pin box 7 as on today it is 6 and 7 maybe in future maybe 8 9 10 it will go on further so keep it ready in front of you so this we can able to see uh, general pmp informations like you know cost uh, what is the 35 pdo professional development units eligibility criteria experience and then preparing time exam application and then membership card everything is there in the uh, website their websites so i will say time to time it will get changes you know cost uh, they will they will have some changes so prepare in time it's up to you my dear friend so that i will uh, give you some kind of you know exercises and then practices then you will come to know that um, uh, how we can you know prepare the examinations in a holistic manner so pmp we have some kind of a process available so that we can able to you know uh, uh, go through as well as maybe we can uh, by heart everything exam application it is there in the website itself so membership cast is also we supposed to do that uh, so it is also there in the website so time to time maybe some changes available or you can proceed in the website itself so i don't want to touch much on this see background this is a very very important thing so you are going to have a certification in pmp so generally what they used to say you know uh, project manager means uh, people used to have like product manager is also we have certification course available program manager is also we are having certification course portfolio manager is also we have certification course available but those people are appearing for certification if they are not having a project management experience okay so this is one way of category the next one is the person who has uh, experienced in professional way like they are in the company they are in the firm so they are always experiencing this project related activities as costing budgeting initiating planning stakeholders management cost quality everything they are doing but they don't have a certificate pmp certificate so what is the difference of these people those who is having only certification but no experience those who is having only experience but no certificate see these second category like you know real time solutions these people having okay so they have a beautiful approach with them methodology is also totally different than introspection is learning each and every company each and every uh, project so you will learn many things so it cannot be like you know it's the same manner we are going to apply each and every area so something like that so in every company they have some different type of uh, procedure different type of uh, systems different type of process uh, different type of you know applications uh, then softwares everything is available so you people need to understand that if you are a beautiful project manager so you are not having the equal experience of solve the people who is already experienced in the pm okay so you have to understand this kind of a scenario so the entire world is looking for certification means okay you will get good knowledge about how the process will happen so certification purpose it is okay we you are getting you are going to get the super knowledge but in job so discuss with your experienced people so certification plus experience means you are the real time project management professionals so you you have a beautiful things in your you know careers and everything so i hope you understand about that so then background so what is the purpose mainly so pmp certification you will have a beautiful knowledge you will gain a plenty of knowledge you know my dear friends stakeholder management how we supposed to do it? theoretically so you know for example you are a pm manager you are you are already experienced about the projects and everything you know that how the structure is going to be but actually you are going to see the world the pimbog is fully prepared with these beautiful experiences from the world so you are going to see how the things is happening in the pmp real time so you will gain more information so from the pmp you can make the real time implementation horizontally you can able to deploy in the same in your area so you will gain more knowledge so then the thing is that project manager upgradation if you are the project manager you are handling a project but if you want to move to another company or another uh, job rotation or something like that so you will be you know treated with having this pmp certification means it, it is booming like anything 
you 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 are dealing project you are also having project certification means you are a beautiful person because you you know a much on the projects and everything how um, holistically like you know how uh, beautifully you can able to structure the pro project uh, uh, categories as, as well as the requirements how you can beautifully convert the customer uh, demand maybe requirements to the results for example new job those who are applying a new job maybe fresher or experienced people or uh, anybody so if you are having this pnb survey doesn't mean that i will get uh, because of this i will get some job it doesn't mean that but you will be taken as a top priority because the pmp from pmi is a very very beautiful uh, highly recognized institute we are going to get this certification so you will get a beautiful top priority uh, the uh, considered uh, so in this process and everything so in the interview process you will enter into the interview process but the performance during the evaluation that is maybe second round third round during panel interview you you are the answerable people so far you know but delivering the project so what is meant by initiating means you have to tell you know so this is how the things will happen so the thing is that once you are the project manager so please go for this certification course if you are the certificated uh, pmp so please search for a beautiful institute maybe you know companies or those who is handling the project so then you will at least uh, introspects everything so what is the importance of certification i am continuously insisting you what is mean by certification what is my certification dot so you have a link in the description so i have given you especially for you so you will please understand what is the meaning of certification in this corporate world especially see those having a beautiful experience but doesn't have a certification means uh, generally this world never believe my dear friends please understand see your resume will talk about something good okay but your certification will talks about yes he has the man who is performed his knowledge and delivered in the agencies like you know which is top recognized agency and then you got this certification course that makes your resume like uh, glorifying anything so please study this one uh, certification course you understand the link what is given in the description so please take it up uh, then understand about the certification course and everything so what is supposed to do that practice 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 and big practice the practice on your own unless otherwise you practice it is very very difficult to perform for them see that's why i have not touched up the many areas as i want you people to understand about what is the question is framed how you can catch up the answer so this is how we we are going to do this examinations in the uh, pmi website so this is the real time examination we are going to do that so you have to do a more 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 practices so then you will understand about how you can able to answer the questions see this uh, framework of what i did like you know you can able to see a uh, question which is highlighted in the blue color so you have four options available so also i have highlighted in the uh, yellow color for the correct answer the explanation is also given so my humble request to all of you is like please read the question so then understand the question so then go for the answer then come to know the explanation so some of the areas you will see the formula some of the areas as you will see the reference copy like what you have shown no uh, this uh, refer pimbok 6th uh, edition project integration management page number 75 so in that case it's like you can refer so in a reverse manner you can do that because you once you go through all the projects uh, 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 that is a pm pimbok uh, books you know uh, one to one okay today i'm reading some 10 to 15 pages tomorrow maybe 40 pages so 40 pages so during saturday sunday i'm reading the full pages okay it may be around 200 to 50 pages so whatever, okay so then what happened time passing culture and then uh, corporate life everything after a period of time so you will surely forget everything so please understand my dear friends directly going through the book it's okay there's no problem at all but see this questions first of all then understand how it is framed so what is the beautiful answer you're going to fit so you have to understand uh, the two answer which is not at all relevant to this question no that is also given so that will make you confused so please understand how the correct answer is framed so then explanation read the explanation first of all so then you will understand about how the correct answer is picked so from these four the more you practice the more you perform shall we go for it so take a cup of coffee notepad and pen be relax yourself with beautiful music and then enjoy this course so explanations is there and then you can take a small notes so then you will enjoy this programs beautifully are you ready let's go for it
So finally, let's learn and level up ourselves and let us help and support others. So without pain, there is no gain. I hope you like this video. So please give your valuable comments so that I can also level up myself. So and share to your beloved ones. So thank you very much and thanks for watching.